I think the depth and breadth of plastic pollution hit me the hardest when I saw Charlie Moore pull in our 20th surface sample in the North Pacific, just outside the garbage patch zone, about a thousand miles away from land. I felt my face go slack as I asked, is there any place on this planet we haven't polluted? That was in 2009 when I sailed with El Goleta Marine Research through the garbage patch in the North Pacific Gyre. What is a gyre, you ask? I didn't know either until I read Susan Casey's Plastic Ocean, where she described the vortex of wind and current that acts as a conveyor belt taking plastic litter emptied out into our oceans via rivers and waterways. What this means is, it doesn't matter where you live. On the coast, in the center of the U.S., or on the highest mountain, we all contribute to plastic pollution due to runoff. My sea legs have taken me nearly 10,000 nautical miles, witnessing 216 ocean surface samples, all containing plastics, some in the most remote regions in the world. We find plastic particulates the size of a dime and smaller to larger plastic items, like a toilet seat. Did I say toilet seat? If I believed in signs, I might think Mother Ocean is trying to tell us something. Maybe something like, there's a crap load of plastic in the ocean and it's choking my marine life. But what goes around comes around. Fish eat plastic, we eat fish. Island coral beaches we aspire to lie on, and teal blue waters we long to swim in are becoming inundated with ocean plastics. There is no such place as a way in our throwaway society. But how will people know there's this problem if they haven't seen what I have seen? Help me raise enough money to take Plastic Ocean Project's 25 feet of canvas using plastics collected from these voyages, along with pictures from our research and solutionary ideas. We use the Japanese art The Great Wave as a template, and these massive waves allow viewers to be transported out onto the open ocean to see its beauty riddled by the plastic plague. Like the Memorial AIDS quilt that brought so much awareness about a pandemic, I hope to take my art show from the East Coast to the West right through the heart of the U.S., creating a wave of awareness. Americans are great problem solvers once we realize there's one. Come right along with me and my dog Maggie as we share the problems and the solutions of plastic pollution. Your dollars will help get the show on the road. Thanks for your help.